Cloudflare load balancing improves application performance and availability by steering traffic away from unhealthy servers and dynamically distributing the traffic to the most available and responsive server pools with no downtime. This video will highlight key features of Cloudflare's load balancing, including how to create a load balancer, manage health monitors and pools, and review load balancing analytics for insights. Enabling load balancing requires an active Cloudflare domain. For the purposes of this demo, we're using the domain ctm-demo.com on an enterprise plan. To get started with Cloudflare load balancing, navigate to the Traffic app in the Cloudflare dashboard and click the Load Balancing tab. Here, you can manage traffic and monitor origin pools in a unified control plane and across all cloud providers, avoiding vendor lock-ins. Scroll down to see a list of your current load balancers. By clicking an existing load balancer, you'll see additional details, including the available pools and origins, the weight assigned, and the fallback pool. Creating a Cloudflare load balancer involves three steps, adding an origin pool, attaching a health monitor, and configuring traffic steering. Now that you've seen the load balancing dashboard, let's create a load balancer by clicking Create Load Balancer. The first step is to identify the hostname. As you see here, the load balancer defaults to the root hostname, but can also use a unique hostname, such as demo.ctm-demo.com, which we'll use for this demo. Note that if you use a unique hostname, it will replace any existing A, Quad A, or CNAME DNS records. You can also choose whether to proxy traffic to this hostname through Cloudflare by clicking the orange cloud to the right of the hostname text field. Next is Session Affinity, which associates all proxied requests to your hostname with a single origin by setting a cookie with a unique value on the initial response. You can choose between using the Cloudflare cookie or using both the cookie and client IP fallback. Let's click Next to add an origin pool. Origin pools represent a group of origin servers identified by their IP address or hostname that Cloudflare steers traffic to based on the health of each origin. For this demo, we'll create two pools, the primary pool and a secondary backup pool that will serve traffic if the primary fails. Let's name the primary pool and include two origins. Next, enter the origin IP address and the weight which determines how traffic is distributed between the servers in your origin pool. As you can see here, we're dividing traffic by sending 70% to one origin and 30% to the other. We'll leave the health threshold as one, which means that one origin has to be healthy for the load balancer to steer traffic to that pool. Let's skip monitor for now and choose a health check region. The health check regions field allows you to choose the geographic regions used to send health monitor requests to your origin. You can choose from regions such as Western or Eastern North America or Europe. Let's choose all of Cloudflare's data centers for now. You can enter an email address, mailing list, or pager duty address to receive load balancing notifications. Click Save to complete adding the primary pool to the load balancer. For the secondary pool, choose from a list of existing pools and click Add Pool. Now that the primary and secondary pools are configured, you can change the order by clicking and dragging each pool. The final step of adding an origin pool is to identify a fallback pool to send traffic as a last resort if the primary and secondary pools aren't healthy. Let's click Next to attach a health monitor. Click Attach Monitor to get started. There are two options, create your own or choose from a list of existing monitors. Let's create our own by clicking Create a Monitor. Let's name our monitor and leave the type, path, and port as is. Clicking Advanced Health Settings allows you to configure the interval, which determines how many seconds pass between each check, timeout, expected HTTP response code, and additional settings. Let's click Save to return to the Health Monitor form. We'll leave the health threshold as 1, choose Western Europe and Western North America as the health check regions, and click Save to complete the health monitor configuration. Clicking Next moves to the final step, configuring traffic steering, which allows you to easily set up load balancers for any origin, no matter where they're hosted. Traffic steering controls how traffic is routed to the pools associated with your load balancer. There are four options, off, where traffic is routed in failover order, dynamic steering, where traffic is routed to the fastest pool based on latency, Geosteering, where traffic is routed based on the health monitor region serving the request, and random, where traffic is routed to a healthy pool at random. Let's choose dynamic steering and click next. 
Now that we've configured the load balancer, let's review the configuration before saving. After reviewing, you can save as a draft or save and deploy. Click save and deploy to return to the load balancing tab. Now that the load balancer has been configured, let's explore how to manage health monitors and origin pools. Detect outages and eliminate potential downtime by managing health monitors and origin pools with Cloudflare load balancing. Click Manage Monitors to get started. Here, you'll see a list of existing health monitors to edit, or you can create your own by clicking the Create button. Now, let's click Manage Pools to manage the origin pools we've created. Here, you can edit the existing pools by clicking Edit. If you edit the configuration, for example, by changing the health threshold to 2, a dialog appears showing any pools impacted by the change. Any changes to the health monitor or pool configuration will propagate to the Cloudflare network in seconds. Let's click Cancel to review the load balancing analytics. Cloudflare load balancing analytics offers insights into what's happening with your traffic and why. To review the analytics, let's click the Load Balancing Analytics tab. To review analytics for a specific load balancer in the Overview tab, click the drop-down and choose a load balancer, including all origin pools. The graph is now showing data related to a specific load balancer's traffic for the past 24 hours. If you scroll down, you can see traffic organized by which origin pools were used for health monitors. Next is the Latency tab. Here you'll see a map with a summary of origin responsiveness globally, which can be used to identify regions where requests are underperforming. Latency insights allow you to ensure that requests are handled as quickly as possible, regardless of where the request comes from. For more detail about load balancing activity, click the Logs tab. Here you can see raw events of status changes for origins and pools. You can also filter the activity based on the same parameters. To review traffic to healthy pools and critical origins, choose those options from the drop-down menu. Click the entry to see more detail, including what triggered the origin event, the failure reason, and expected response codes. By reviewing the load balancing analytics, you can see which origins are unhealthy and take remedial action before the origin is lost completely, which can save time and revenue. In this demo, you've seen how to create a load balancer, manage monitors and pools, and review load balancing analytics for insights. Now you're ready to get started with Cloudflare load balancing. To start using Cloudflare load balancing to improve performance, sign up at cloudflare.com backslash load balancing.